What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about some of the best mythic items you need to be looking out for if you are a new player. Now keep in mind there's tons of great mythic items and I could have made this list a lot longer but I kind of wanted to break it down to three mythic items that I think if you are a new player you've made it to 160 CP. These are the three that you should be looking out for or kind of going out to get right from the start. As soon as you hit 160 these should be the three that you're wanting to get. Now, like I said, this is my personal opinion. There's a few other ones I could have added into this list. Uh, there may be some other ones that other players tell you about, friends tell you about, and that's perfectly fine. But these three, if you're just absolutely wondering, what should I be trying to do once I hit 160? I need some mythics. What ones should I go after? If I don't have a whole lot of time to play, uh, what mythics should I be looking for? And these three, in my opinion, are going to be the best. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Ring of the Pale Order. This is for solo play, so if you're a solo player, you're out doing everything in Tamriel by yourself. So if you're out doing world bosses, just basic adventuring quests, uh, maybe dipping your toes into starting to learn to solo some of the base dungeons in game, the Ring of the Pale Order is the ring for you. This restores 20% of your damage uh, damage you deal as health. The value is decreased by 4% four per, uh, per ally you are grouped with. You cannot be healed by anyone but yourself. So what you're going to want to do with this, of course, is have some self heals on. Also, you make sure there's nobody in your group, and this is going to be a big help because if you're out solo adventuring, out doing, like I said, world bosses, whatever the case could be there, uh, out in Tamriel, this would be a great uh, mythic item to have. Next on the list is going to be something that's definitely made for group play, and that's going to be the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt. Uh, one item, dealing direct damage, grants you a stack of Hunter's Focus for 20 seconds, up to 10 stacks max. You can only gain one stack of Hunter's Focus per second. Each stack of Hunter's Focus increases your critical chance by 110% and your critical damage by 1%. Taking direct damage removes five stacks of Hunter's Focus up to once per second. Removing the Hunter's Waiting Kilt removes all stacks of Hunter's Focus. Now this is definitely a group mythic item. This is going to be great if you're a big fan of doing dungeons, if you're a big fan of maybe getting into in-game trials. Um, it's not great solo because it's kind of hard to keep those stacks up by yourself. But if you're with a group, you know, you have a tank taunting the enemies uh, that way that you're not getting hit often, you can keep those stacks up. That is the only issue I see with the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt is when you first get it and you're first starting to learn to play the game, it's going to be a little bit difficult to, you know, learn to stay out of those, you know, direct damage uh, kind of areas are getting hit a lot by different things because that's going to kind of mess up how your Harpooner's Wedding Kilt is working because you're getting hit a lot and you're losing those stacks. Um, but you do get that increase in crit chance, which is a big plus. And once you get used to moving around enemies and not taking damage, uh, you know, taking that direct damage as much, You'll keep those stacks up, and you'll be able to put out a lot of damage yourself. So the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt is great for group play. And last but not least, the Oaken Soul Ring. And as of making this video, as of right now, the Oaken Soul Ring is by far one of the favorite mythic items in ESO because of its ability to make one bar builds just unreal. I'm sure if you're new to the game, you've heard people in game, you've heard uh, stuff maybe on YouTube or on Twitch streams, people talking about how great one bar builds are. This could change in the future, but one bar builds are a lot easier to use, uh, especially especially for new players. So I would highly recommend looking into some one bar builds, but the Oak and Soul Ring, while equipped, you are unable to swap between your primary and backup weapon sets. So you're going to have to run your primary bar. So you're only going to have to deal with just a few skills instead of, you know, skills in your front bar and back bar. You're going to get minor berserk, minor courage, major brutality, major sorcery, major prophecy, major savagery, minor force, minor protection, major resolve, minor mending, minor fortitude, minor intellect, minor endurance, minor heroism, and minor slayer minor ages and in power so you're going to get tons and tons of resources just for wearing this ring and no you're not going to be able to do as much as someone that's running two bars uh, and and with a good rotation but you can easily get a lot of damage i'm talking 80 to 100k once you kind of learn the game and, and know what you're doing and pretty much just using a lightning staff and hitting one button at a time you know just casting your abilities you're going to be able to get 80 to 100k damage, which is going to be plenty for any content in the game. So you're going to be able to run, you know, just basic content uh, outside of, you know, Dungeons and Trials with this Oak and Soul Ring. 
or you'll be able to go into Dungeons and Trials and be able to perform very well. Like I said, it's not going to put out as much damage as you know an optimized group build, but it's still doing a lot of damage, and that's pretty much all you really need, and it's a lot easier to learn a rotation with one bar, especially if you're new. So definitely check out the Oaken Soul Ring. Now keep in mind, to get these, you will have to have certain DLC. So the Oaken Soul Ring is going to be part of the High Isles DLC. The Harpooner's Waiting Kilt is going to be part of the Blackwood DLC. And the Ring of the Pale Order is going to be part of the Markarth DLC. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you have any of these, if you are a new player. Or if you're a veteran player, uh, let me know some of the other rings or other you know necklaces mythic items just in general that you think a lot of players should be looking into of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace